Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make a simple laser engraved jig. So one of the most efficient production methods here in the shop is to make jigs. That's one of the first things I started making when I started this business uh, five or six years ago. And in this case here, it's a very simple jig. Now what makes it different from the other jigs that I've showcased on CNCRI.com so this one was done entirely using laser engraving. So it's not a multi-layer jig with different uh, offsets. It's actually just one solid piece of MDF. And the reason why I've really come to enjoy using MDF for making custom jigs, whether they're layered or engraved like this, is number one, it doesn't tend to warp from heat, unlike acrylic and other materials. Uh, when we laser engrave this directly, for instance, um, it's a very consistent material too. Um, if you made these jigs out of, let's say, live edge or metal or what have you, um, they always have some sort of impurities in the material that will cause some relief. But if you look here, you can see that everything is actually the proper depth. Now, the one challenge with laser engraving is that it's not a two-way feedback system like we have on our CNC router. So on our CNC router, we can say, okay, bring the bit down one-eighth of an inch and carve everything one-eighth. We don't have that with the laser. The laser doesn't know what it's doing. So all it does is based on speed and power. So if I want an exact depth, um, I sort of have to approximate it and keep engraving until I get that. Now in this case here, it's for stainless steel cable tags. And you'll notice here that there's a little tab that sticks up. And that little tab needs to be downwards. So that's why there is a little bit more laser engraving on the edges here so that when the cable tag goes in here, you can see it's actually flush and totally flat, which is pretty cool. And that's very important because when we do fiber laser etching on this 304 stainless steel, uh, there's still some, a little bit of warping on the materials that heats up, but at least we start off with a very flat surface and when the etching is happening on it, the etching is even across the whole tag.
Now there's a very real reason why you don't see a lot of laser engraved uh, jigs like this. And the main one is cost of production. Um, I have my own machine, I have my own shop. So when it comes to making jigs for myself, um, there's no real associated cost to it other than really electricity. Um, producing something like this with a router would be incredibly fast and efficient. But using a laser to do the same job is a very, very slow process. And the reason for that is you want everything to be totally accurate and dead center for everything. Because if you start laser engraving and then something's off by, you know, one millimeter here, there, or what have you, um, that's just not acceptable for a jig. It's got to be accurate all the way across. Now for efficient production using jigs, you have one jig. So while the job is actually happening, I also made another jig so that I could load. So let's say we have this one laser engraving right now. I could use the other one to unload, uh, take the tags out, uh, itemize them, and then put new ones on. So then I'm just basically flipping between the two productions throughout the whole job that I have to do with the cable tags. Now that's the nice thing about jigs is that if you have two or three of them, or if you have, let's say, three or four machines, you can actually do a tremendous amount of work in a very short period of time. So if you're looking for custom jigs, contact me at cncri.com and we'll make them for you.